If you're looking to build a website for your small business, Wix is one of the most reliable and easy to use site builders around. Here's how you can create your own small business website with Wix in seven steps. Step one, create a Wix account. First, you'll need to create a Wix account. Visit Wix.com and click the Get Started button and follow the prompts to log in or create an account. Step two, choose your website elements. Wix has several website elements prepared to make the process of building a website easier for you. In the next step, you'll just have to answer Wix's questions, such as the kind of website you're creating and the website elements you're including. These help Wix get a better understanding of the kind of website you need. You can also edit these later on, so don't worry about them too much. Step three, set up your website via your dashboard. In the next screen, you'll be prompted to visit your dashboard to start setting up your website. Click on the Go to Dashboard button and it'll direct you to your website dashboard. Your dashboard is where you can organize the functions of your website. For example, if you're building an online store, add your products and set up shipping options. Once you're done, click Save. Step 4. Decide which Wix editor to use. In the next step, you'll start the process of designing your website. Wix has two ways of doing this. You can choose one of their templates and build your website yourself, or you can let Wix create one for you using their Artificial Design Intelligence, or ADI. Whichever option you choose, at the end of the process, you'll be directed back to Wix's drag-and-drop editor, so you can make tweaks and edits before publishing your site live. We'll walk you through the process for both options, starting with using a Wix template. Step 5. Create your business website. If you choose to create your website using a Wix template, you'll be directed to Wix's template library with over 800 templates. Once you've chosen a template, hover over it then click Edit This Site. You'll then be directed straight to Wix's drag-and-drop editor, where you can go ahead and start building your website. We'll get back to that in a moment. If you choose to let Wix create a website for you, go ahead and click Get Started in this option. Wix will then present you with prompts for your website, such as your business name and contact details, the theme you want for your website, and your homepage design. You can also choose the pages you want to include in your site, such as an About Us page or FAQ page, and more. Once you're done, go ahead and click Edit Site, which will then lead you to Wix's drag-and-drop editor. Now that you are in Wix's drag and drop editor, you can edit and customize the details of your site before publishing it. Whether you create your website using a template or using Wix's artificial intelligence, Wix directs you to its drag and drop editor to make any additional edits before your site goes live. Here are a few tips on using Wix's editor to customize your site. First is how to add or remove pages to your website. Navigate to the menu on the left side of your screen and click the third icon to bring up the site pages and menu bar. This will display a list of all the pages of your website. To add a page, click on the add page button at the bottom of the menu. Choose the kind of page you want to add and type in your page's name. To delete a page, hover over the page you want to delete, click the button with three dots, then click delete. The Site Pages and Menus section is where you can manage everything about your website's pages. You can reorder pages by clicking and dragging them around. You can also create subpages by dragging a page under and to the right of a main page until it becomes a subcategory. You'll also need to customize your header and footer. To do this, click on the elements of your header and footer and drag and drop them as you need to. You can also customize your business name and upload your logo in the header, and in your footer, you can add in your business address and contact details and more. Wix's drag and drop editor lets you customize nearly any element of your website. To edit text, just double click the text element and then type in your text. You can also customize your font, font size and more. You can also add elements by clicking the plus sign on the left-hand menu bar and choose any element you want to add. 
Once you click it, it'll automatically show up on your screen. Wix also has several third-party apps to maximize your website's functions, from sign-up forms to social media streams. You can add these by clicking the Add Apps button on the menu, which opens the Wix app market. Choose any app you want or search from the hundreds of apps available and click on it to add it to your website. It'll automatically appear on the editor. And that sums up how to use Wix's editor to customize your site. In the next step, we'll cover how to set up your SEO. Step 6. Optimize your website for search engines. Once you have all your site's details down, the next step is to set up your SEO. Click the Wix logo on the upper left corner to return to your dashboard. Scroll down and click on the Marketing and SEO tab, then SEO Tools in the drop-down menu. In the following screen, click the button under Get Found on Google, which will open your SEO setup checklist. In this page, you can fill out the SEO checklist to help your site rank higher on Google. Add your business name, relevant keywords, and more. Step 7. Launch your small business website. Once you've finished setting up your SEO, you're ready to launch your website. Navigate back to the drag and drop editor, then click publish on the upper right corner and your site will automatically go live. You can also still make any changes in the editor if you need to. And that sums up how to build a Wix website for your small business. Wix is one of the best tools to set up a website for your brand and boost your online presence. Thank you for watching.